a lot of science education around the world uh, seems to focus on disciplines. So it's tr- it's designed to make people experts in physics and experts in chemistry and biology. But what I wanted to do was to be able to think about science as a set of tools and take these tools and solve the big problems that uh, we see around us. So Equitech Futures was built in collaboration with three other Rhodes Scholars, Aaron Mertz, Krithika Bhattacharya and Ziad Bharat. We realized this was a unique opportunity to build a global community online where we could bring together really ambitious scholars in science and technology from all corners of the world. Aaron and I had built this collaboration because of the Rhodes Network and we thought wouldn't it be amazing to have that network be more global. For our first cohort, we have scholars from nine countries from 11 disciplines who speak 20 different languages. We recognized, you know, there there are lots and lots of really smart, ambitious individuals around the world who are passionate about science and technology. So that kind of led to creating an institution where we could sort of get away from these traditional silos of academia and instead bring in people from all disciplines and have them learn tools. So the point of the writing labs at Equitech Futures is to acknowledge that for the good ideas you have, a longer life is essential. And that writing is an excellent way to extend the life of a thought. And sometimes writing is also the way to deepen the thought itself. I'm actually really optimistic about the next generation. And I I believe if we can give uh, the next generation of leaders the right tools from science and technology and give them the right perspectives on the kind of problems that exist in the world and give them the resources on the networks and get out of the way, they will go on and do magical things. Mm